Hello again everyone. I am here with a fountain pen unboxing today and it is by Tatia. I have never purchased anything by this brand before but Goulet Pens just started carrying them and supposedly one of the special things about it is that it has a nib made by Sailor. And I believe, I believe it is made in Japan, although the name would kind of indicate that it's a uh, Italian name. <laughs> so let's see. Yes, I believe I got a medium. Oh no, I got a music nib. That's right. Oh, I totally forgot. So I did not end up getting a gold nib because the gold nib was just a little bit out of my price range right now. But this one has a steel music nib on it. So here's the inside of the box. It's actually really pretty. It's got this um, nice cushiony box. Underneath we have some cartridges and some information about the company. So this is a Tatia Spotlight is the name of this particular pen. And I think, I've forgotten the name of the color, the colorway here. I think it's Forest something or other. Um, I will put a direct link below to that. And now that I'm feeling it, it actually feels pretty hefty, this pen. So I'm, I'm really stoked about that. It is a cartridge converter pen. So, you know, take that for what you will, if you like that or not. I'm going to go ahead and put the case, which is very nice, aside. And then I do have my trusty Yamabudo ink off here to the side and a notebook. So my thought was that I would dip test this pen just briefly. And I do have a napkin over to the side to get the ink out when I'm done. This is, like I said, it's a new th new brand that they're carrying at Goulet Pens. And ooh, the, the, um, the mechanism feels really nice and smooth, so it's twist it's a screw top, and I believe that the body and perhaps the cap as well are hand turned. Actually, let me move that so you can see this against the background. So I believe they're hand turned, and then this nib, which says Tachia on it, is supposedly made by Sailor. Yeah, it does say Tachia Japan, so that is where they come from. And like I said, this is a music nib. So Sailor's, and, and now I guess Tatia's, sorry, I had something on my finger. Uh, their music nib is not your typical music nib with the two or the three tines. So the other music nib that I have from, uh, is that platinum? Yeah, I, I believe it's platinum, it has three tines. But it still kind of writes like a uh, like a stub, I would say. And this one, I don't know how it will write, but I'm looking forward to trying it out. So one of the things that I am noticing about this nib is it's kind of bulbous on top, and then there's sort of a flat, there's sort of a flat um, part of the tipping material on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that very well. That's probably the best angle there so this appears a little bit flat so I'll be very interested to see what it looks like it feels very um, it feels pretty light without the cap but it I think it would be comfortable I'm going to post it which it says it can it feels just a tiny bit top heavy um, I am trying to train myself to not post my pens as much and to just keep track of my caps. Uh, it's been a process, so we'll see how that ends up working out. Yet yeah, today, I think I am going to write with it without the cap because the cap does feel a little heavy. I think it's probably because of all these metal accents. Um, they make the cap actually quite hefty. I would say the cap weighs about as much as the pen itself. I'm gonna put the cap over here. And then I'm going to find a page in here that is somewhat free of other writing. Okay, folks, I had to do the second half of this video again just because I had the writing so much out of frame. So hopefully this time I will pay more attention and get things more in frame. So I'm gonna dip into my Yamabudo. And then this is the Tachia which is such a beautiful line. I, I really love this. This is the Spotlight. 
in forest eye is the name of this particular color. And then this is a music nib. So that's just writing with this how I would write normally. So um, what I have noticed is that if you go side to side like that, you're gonna get a thinner line. If you do the broad end, you're gonna get a bolder line. So if I write like this, which is not necessarily spotlight, sorry, can't write and talk at the same time. If I write like that, you get a thinner line and a little bit more line variation. So I've noticed this as well with my platinum music nib that if I angle it sideways, I get a much more readable line, like it's not all just thick like this. And of course, this is supposed to be for, you know, writing, uh, writing musical notes, although I suppose, let's see, because you have that, like that. Yeah, so I suppose if you're if you're writing with it naturally, that's the kind of thing you're gonna end up with. And let's see, so when I do loops this way, there's not really much variation, but if I hold it like this and do the loops, there's a little bit more line variation. But in any case, it's really kind of nice to have a steel music nib. And the nib is lovely. I, I would say lovely as any other sailor nib I've tried. So, and I have never tried um, sort of the next level up steel nib from Sailor. I do have a couple of uh, 1911 Junior pens, which I think are now being branded in the U.S. as the Compass. The, they're calling them the Sailor Compass. So, um, so those will be available. But this nib is definitely a step above the steel nib that is on those. Um, not sure if it's just because it's a music nib, or uh, I'd be curious to see what other nibs in this line look like. But I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe so that you can keep track of future videos that I'll be posting. But other than that, until next time, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.